So, good morning to all of you. Welcome to Toshita. And uh, my name is Manuela, and I'm going to guide you this morning in our morning meditation. Thank you for closing the door. And um, yeah, um, before we start, I would like to know how many of you are new in Toshita. First time. Oh, quite a few. Wow. Thank you so much for coming all the way here and join us here. So then I um, will shortly explain a little bit what type of meditation uh, we're going to practice here because I think in this world there are so, so many different kind of meditations and they all have their right to be there. But here in Toshita we mainly practicing two specific kind of meditation which I'm going to introduce you now and also will guide you through this morning. So um, we as Toshita, we are Dharma Center, especially we belong to the tradition of Tibetan Buddhism. And um, so the first technique of meditation we're going to do also in our first part this morning, um, it's called Calm Abiding Meditation, Single Pointed Meditation. Um, the Sanskrit word is, uh, is Shamatha, the Tibetan word Shimne. And it's finally, we're going to use one object, in our case it will be the breath, And we all the time guiding our awareness back towards the sensations of the breath. And that's actually a little bit counteracting what the mind usually do during the day, doing one thing, jumping to your, your, all your thoughts, you know. I think we're all familiar with these waterfalls of mental events. Um, so, and this will really help us to a little bit calming down the mind and, and uh, develop a bit a better focus, a better concentration. And this we will do the first part. And then we're going to have a break in between. And then in our second part, we will have a meditation today. Um, it's called Mind Like the Sky. And the second part meditation is very specific in the Tibetan, uh, Tibetan Buddhist tradition. It's um, called analytical meditation, meditation in contemplation. Uh, contemplation. And this is actually, um, I will guide you through a specific topic today. We will a little bit investigating more our mind. And um, in that, whatever topic it is, uh, with this analytical meditation, it's actually the idea to create really an insight from your own experience. I may going to ask you some question, and it's not so much about to intellectual answering this question. It's really about to let your mind respond and then it becomes your own experience. And here actually we're really working uh, from a Buddhist point of view. We have the three types of wisdom. So the first wisdom is when we hear something. The second wisdom is when we start to contemplate, to discuss with other people. And then the third wisdom is the wisdom of integration. And these analytical meditations, they go in this third category. And usually the analytical meditations are divided. Either they are meditations who are opener, open a bit more our hearts, like on compassion, loving kindness, equanimity. And then also meditations who are uh, enhancing our wisdom. So today I think mind like the sky, this meditation, it's really more to get a better insight how actually thoughts and minds are working. And I think here it's also very crucial to understand that Buddhism... Um, I think most of us here practicing since a few years, for us Buddhism is not like a religion. It's really more about a science of the mind. Why does Kim things are coming from and actually to investigating this mind because finally wherever you go, you're going to take your mind with you. So we cannot escape. And I think these meditations are a wonderful idea to really a little bit taming our mind and becoming more aware, which will have so many benefits in our day-to-day -day life. Yeah. And um, yeah, you can simply uh, follow my voice to the best of your ability and um, 
just have in mind that you are be joyful, that you enjoy what you're doing. I think an open heart and that your meditation cushion is actually something you're looking forward to do. Uh, I think that's very, very important. And um, we're going to have a break in between where you can readjust your posture. If you have to adjust in between, please do so. It's always good to have a relaxed body because usually the mind is learning from the physical experience means when we are very tight and very tense in a posture, then usually the mind is also very narrow and um, then it's not so much capacity to develop. And uh, yeah. And please put all your phones in silent mode if you haven't done so far because we're quite a few people here for morning practice. And uh, also feel free, there is enough cushion, so if you need an extra cushion, make yourself comfortable. I think that's the first step. Enjoy what you do and be comfortable before we start with the more formal practice. Okay, and I'm going to use the singing bowl to start towards the, uh, um, for the break and then towards the end. And just take a moment to allow yourself to arrive here in this space and feeling the weight of your body on the cushion or the chair. If you sit on the chair, you may want to come a bit in front of the chair so your both feet are touching the floor. And this will allow your spine to be upright, straight. The same when you're sitting on a cushion. So take a moment now to ground your sit bones and bring your spine in an upright position. And then finding a place for your hands, for your palms. If you're familiar with any mudra, so you're most welcome to do. A very, fam a very famous mudra in the Buddhist tradition is the mudra with the hands of meditative acupoise, where the left, uh, where the right hand is resting in the left and both thumbs are touching, symbolizing also Buddha Dharma Sangha, the three jewels. And then taking a moment here to relax your elbows. And if you want, you can bring your shoulders up to the ear and roll them back, make a big circle here. And see how this little movement is creating more space in the chest so your breath can flow freely, effortlessly. And making sure our shoulders are leveled, relaxed. Same with the neck, an elongation of the spine, soft, relaxed. Then relaxing the muscles in the face by starting with the jaw, inviting our jaw to relax. The, the teeth, the gums, the tongue. All the muscles around our lips. And then also starting by relaxing our eyeballs, all the muscles, all the connective tissue around. Giving a break for our eyes, to our eyes. And here, relaxing the eyelids, the eyebrows. And you can decide now if you want to keep your eyes gently open for this practice, which will prevent you from falling to sleep. If you feel very tired, that might be a good idea this morning. Or if you feel okay, then you may want to close the eyes.
And then letting your forehead be spacious, soft. Now I invite you to scan your body once more from the top of the head towards the tip of the toes. With every, if you encounter any tightness, tension on the way down, you can make use of the exhales to let go. And then, having prepared a body, a preparing speech and mind, by simply inviting our being to be really here, letting go of all worries, concerns, knowing that right now, nothing better, nothing more important to do with your life, and simply sitting here with the wish to meditate. And that's so wonderful, so special. And then from within that state, a bit more relaxed already, let us find a positive motivation for this practice. And here I invite you to be bold, to be brave. Think about like what would be the biggest motivation you can think of it. You may even sit here, have like this seed of understanding that happiness cannot only come from outer circumstances. It has to do with something from inside. And you may even also have like some sense of that if you want to change things outside, you have to start with changing things inside, from the inside to the outside. And in all ways, I mean working, when we start working with ourselves, on ourselves, is of course of benefit for ourselves, but finally it's also a benefit for all sentient beings, because in a way we are all interconnected. So we can think that may this meditation become our own personal contribution to a little bit more peace in this world. And then with this wonderful purpose in our mind and hearts. Let us start this practice by simply bringing our awareness towards the movement of the breath. And simply noticing as the breath flows naturally, effortlessly, coming in and going out. You are simply aware of every breath you take. And gently inviting yourself to develop this sense of ongoing flow of awareness towards your breath.
And every time when you find yourself distracted by thoughts, by plans, thinking about the future or the past, you simply use this as an opportunity to guide your awareness back towards the sensations of the breath. And doing this from moment to moment, and in that way, simply taming, taming the mind. It's also very important to see that when you find yourself drifted away, first of all, rejoice, relax, release, and return towards the sensations of the breath, wherever you find it most easy to meet in the body. And with every in-breath, bringing your mind, your awareness back into the present moment. With every out-breath, relaxing more, letting go. And in that way, we are simultaneous, alert and relaxed. Practicing awareness of the breath from moment to moment. And again, every time when you find yourself drifted away, simply using this moment and rejoicing that you be mindful and aware and guiding your awareness back towards the sensations of the breath again and again, from moment to moment. And here now you can practice another three minutes on your own.
And now you can have a short break. Readjust your posture. You may even want to stand up for a moment to relax the body, release tension in the body. But whatever you do, try to stay mindfully alert. And then you can find yourself again seated and preparing yourself now for our second half this morning for analytical meditation where we're going to investigate a little bit more the mind and how the mind is working. So take a moment here to again bring your spine in an upright position not too tight, not too loose. Letting the shoulders be levered, relaxed. Relaxing all the muscles in the face. You may even want to give yourself a smile. It's quite helpful to release tightness and tension in that area. And taking a few moments here to actively allowing ourselves to once again arriving in this present moment. And bringing our awareness simply towards the sensations of the breath. When we're breathing in, we are fully aware that we are breathing in. And when we're breathing out, we are aware that we are breathing out. <laughs> and we calling on positive motivation that we are really here because we like, we want to be here to work on ourselves for the benefit of all. So wonderful. And then to start this contemplation We can do so by simply recognizing that from a Buddhist point of view, the source of our happiness, the source of our well-being, our joy and our fulfillment, it is within our own mind. It is nothing to come from outside of ourselves. Also, outside things can act as a condition for our own happiness or for our own suffering. But finally, outside things are not the actual source for that. The real source of our experience is inside of us. It lies within our mind. And if we want to be happy people, if we want to be peaceful and fulfilled people, 
we need to gain a clear understanding of how the mind works and how we can clean our mind from negative habits and tendency which usually lead to the experience of suffering and instead developing more healthy states of mind, more positive states of mind, which then usually result in lasting happiness. From the inside to the out, And from the Buddhist point of view, by nature, the, our mind is pure and clear. And all the disturbing thoughts or negative emotion we have are more just like clouds passing through the sky. They are not within the source of our being. They are only temporary delusions, obscurations. And that's the very good news. They can be removed to then finally remain the clarity of our mind. And now I invite you to come back towards your breathing for a few moments here. Connecting with every breath cycle. And now, as you attend to the breathing in this way, for a moment now become aware of what is it? Is it that is observing the breath, which is your mind? And simply notice your mind as it observes the breath and get a sense of the quality of your mind that is observing, that there is something within you that is aware of the breath right now. But what is that? Take a moment here to become aware of what is it, this quality within you that is aware, this quality within you that perceives. And as you come in contact with that, now I invite you to direct your attention right upon this sense of being aware, this spacious and knowing quality of your own mind, this simple experience of awareness itself, of just being aware. And notice that from moment to moment.
And now as you do so, now allow your awareness to expand, to become vaster, letting it expand beyond the confines of your body, even beyond the confines of this room. And forget that there is an observer and something being observed. And imagine your entire experience, your mind, as being like the sky, completely clear, vast, spacious, and without end. And hold this experience gently. Try to identify with this experience this vast, clear, spacious mind without end. And just as the sky is clear on a beautiful day and the light of the sun is shining down on you through the infinite clarity of the sky, like that your mind is also clear by nature. And also sometimes clouds might fill the sky and obscure the sunshine. The sky itself actually doesn't get affected by that. The sky doesn't identify with the clouds. The sky doesn't judge. And the clouds are just passing through, through the spaciousness of the sky. The clouds, they come and they go. But the clarity of the sky isn't stained by these clouds. They simply arise and pass. And it is like that, exactly with your thoughts, emotions in the mind. Now attend for some time to the spaciousness of your own mind. And when a thought, an emotion, an idea, an inner image arises in your mind, see if you can simply observe it without get carried away or get interested in it and simply let it arise and let it pass. Every thought, each mental event, just like a cloud. Your mind, the sky, clear and infinite. Concentrate now on that experience and observe.
And whatever memory, whatever thoughts or mental image comes up in your mind, again, simply let it be like a cloud. Let it arise and let it pass. And instead of following or identifying with it, try to identify what lies behind the cloud. Let your mind be the sky, unaffected by clouds, free, open and spacious, without end. And then you can combine the sense of awareness with your breathing. And as you breathe in, you can imagine your sky-like awareness becoming completely clear and crisp, as if a cool breeze passes through. And as you breathe out, you can further expand the spaciousness in all directions, making it vaster with every outburst luminous and infinite, letting go of any clinging, any tension. As you breathe in, your sky-like awareness is becoming clear and crisp. Breathing out, Expanding it, expanding the spaciousness in all directions. Do this now for a few breaths in your own way.
And then from that, within that space, now I invite you to let go of all the appearances, all the visualizations or imaginations, and simply coming back to the natural movement of your breath, and letting your blessed breath flow freely without effort and again single pointedly attending to the subtle sensations of the breath in the body and attending to every breath from moment to moment for the rest of the session and recognizing the quality of your own mind after the meditation you have just been doing. And then now we can gradually bring our session to an end with thoughts of rejoicing and dedication and connecting back with our motivation, with our intention. We said on the beginning of the session and we can feel really happy about that. Whatever, whatever effort we made today, it was with this motivation to meditate. And that's something really wonderful. And then we can direct and dedicate that feeling of having made some virtuous effort towards a vast vision by thinking that may whatever, whatever effort I have made today become a course for a lasting sense of peace and happiness for all sentient beings myself included. May we be able to come to understand our minds 
and to develop ourselves to our own highest potential. May I myself become a, hap a cause of happiness for my friends, families, strangers, for all sentient beings I meet today. Omani Pemehom, may wisdom and compassion arise within you. Yeah, thank you so much for your practice this morning. I'm always feel really, really happy to see so many people coming here and want to create and want to work on themselves. We also we had seven people from all over the world. It's also nice actually to share this practice without confines. And um, yeah, we're going to have today is Monday. So every Monday at 2 p.m., we're going to show a movie about Dharma in our library. So you are most welcome to come back at 2 o'clock to watch a movie in the library. In general, the library has a lot of very interesting books, and you can rent them, and you just pay a deposit. And yeah, also feel free to explore the space of Tushita, especially for the people who are new here. You can have a look. We have two more Gompas to have a look inside because from tomorrow on we start already one retreat and the day after the second retreat then the space will be more limited to have a look around so probably today is a very good day. You're also most welcome to have a, to have a tea in our dining hall and um, I would request if like a few people could stay because we have actually to prepare um, another gompa for our morning drop-in meditation and we have to prepare the medicine Buddha gompa. Most likely I need some men who can carry something. <laughs> um, so if you feel free, you could help us for an hour or two, would be super nice. Thank you so much for that. We also in the back, we have a donation box which uh, will enable us and we will, which will support us to keep this drop-in sessions going. So also thank you here already in advance for your support. And beside of that, I hope you can carry this mind like the sky now in the outside world and become a bit more aware about how this, oh, a thought, wait, cloud, I don't have to react towards it. And have a little bit more easy day today. Thank you so, so much. And if you have any questions, you're also very welcome to come 